RVing is one of the best ways to travel with your dogs. Bringing your house along means they always have a familiar place to sleep and play. We've been RVing with our little senior dog, Riley, here for years, and recently we just added a new road tripper to the family. Come here, Gus! Jump! Jump, Gus! <laughs> Meet Gus! Say hi, Gus. So let's run through the things we do to make sure our dogs have a good time RVing. Ready, Gus? <laughs> our dogs lay on the same throws we use in our sticks and bricks, but here in the Airstream, they have their own blankets. You can count on your dogs getting way dirtier on RV trips since the distance from the outdoors to the sofa is so much shorter. Their own blankets that can be quickly tossed in the wash is a must. Our favorite type of RV dog beds are these thinner types that can be squished down and stowed away. Usually our dogs prefer the sofa, but when we're staying somewhere without a concrete pad, I'll usually bust out their beds to keep the sofa clean. For anyone out there with a senior dog like us, we find that keeping their food in the same place is a must. And for our younger dog, we take his toy bin from our sticks and bricks with on RV trips. He loves finding out that his familiar toys are along for the ride too. When we leave our dogs alone, we peek in on them with this Wi-Fi enabled battery powered camera that connects to our hotspot. It provides huge peace of mind. It's always good to provide your pets with the same familiar outdoor setting no matter where you are. This is how we set up our patio. This camp bed easily stows away for travel and has a removable washable cover. We also anchor a tie out to the Airstream, making sure to test the length in all directions to make sure they can't reach our neighbor's yard or the road. And of course, we always leave a water bowl out on the patio. Boy, sit, sit, good boy. We have traveled some really long distances with our pups and we know firsthand that being prepared for the car ride makes it easier on both you and your dog. So we'll head over to the truck now and we'll run through our list of travel essentials. Ready, Gus? <laughs> we keep a basic pet first aid kit along on both road trips and hikes. This one has an eye wash, sting relief, antiseptic pads, and more. Oh, and tweezers, which we use the most. When we get out to take a break or if it's time for them to eat, I just secure them to a tie out I leave on the truck at all times. Which leads me to my locking bowls. These are one of my favorite finds of all time. They snap together and allow me to feed the dogs and then seal off the bowls without having to smell them the rest of the trip. It's also great if your dog doesn't finish dinner. Just snap it up and save it for later. Another one of my favorite travel essentials is this dog water bowl. Squeeze it to fill the bowl and when they're done drinking, let go and the excess water goes back inside. Magic! I always keep a designated dog towel in the door of the truck to wipe off wet or dirty paws after stops. They're always picking stuff up. It's always a good idea to keep your dog safely secured in a car seat and harness. Some states even require it. This type that goes around the headrest allows little dogs like Gus here to see all of the cool places you're traveling to. Since our dog Riley is a senior, we always keep a dog backpack along. Gus is here to demonstrate. We use it for anything from hikes to exploring busy towns or just eating on outdoor patios. Our senior can stay safely tucked away in his familiar pack right next to me. <gasps> is this the new style of how you ride in your backpack? Now you and your dogs are ready to hit the road. If you have any comments you'd like to add about how you make your dogs feel more at home RVing, please share them below. <laughs> Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Let's go, Gus. I'm not sure this is exactly how you should ride in your backpack, though. We're gonna have to straighten them out. <laughs>